Good morning. This is your media report for Monday, June the 12th, 2017. I'm Sergeant Chuck Breen, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Since the 9th of June 2017, the St. John Police Force has responded to 343 calls for service. We would like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email police at stjohn.ca or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. On Friday afternoon at 3.24 p.m., St. John Police received a call from Corrections Canada who advised that a warrant had been issued for a female for a violation of her parole. Officers were able to locate the 35-year-old female on Waterloo Street and at that time arrested her for a parole violation. She was turned over to the Sheriff's Department and was transported to a federal correctional facility. At 4.17 p.m., a St. John police officer stopped a vehicle on Highfield Avenue and arrested a 33-year-old male who was being sought for a theft of an ATV and an assault. At the time of the arrest, police located a baggie in the vehicle which contained a quantity of cocaine. As a result, police arrested the 21-year-old male driver of the vehicle for possession of a narcotic. They were both transported to the St. John Police Station where they were held to appear in court. On Saturday evening at 6.47 p.m., St. John Police responded to Main Street for a call of a male in a bus shelter who was yelling and swearing. Officers located the male who was intoxicated. Police arrested the 55-year-old male for causing a disturbance. Officers learned that he was on a court order to keep the peace and be a good behavior. He was also charged for violating a court order. He was transported to the St. John Police Station where he was held to appear in court. At 8.48 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of domestic violence in Ludlow Street. Responding officers spoke to a female who advised that she heard what she thought was her friend being assaulted by the friend's boyfriend. When she went to intervene, the boyfriend spit on her and pushed her to the ground. He then left the scene on foot. Officers then spoke to witnesses who advised that earlier they observed the male who left on foot pin a female to the wall by her arms and would not let her go. This caused bruising to her arms. The male then damaged the door in the residence prior to leaving. As a result of this information, police are looking to arrest a 21-year-old male for two charges of assault and one charge of mischief to property. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Force. On Sunday morning at 10.56 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a break and enter at the Joshua Group for Kids Thrift Store on Charlotte Street. Officers were advised by the caller that sometime overnight someone had entered the shop and took a number of items as well as a small amount of cash. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Force Major Crime Unit. At 1.27 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a break and enter on Britain Street. The caller advised officers that they had left their apartment for a short time and when they returned found that someone had entered the apartment and had stolen a laptop computer. Responding officers conducted a neighborhood inquiry and as a result of that were able to identify a suspect and recover the stolen laptop which they returned to the owners. This matter is currently under investigation by the St. John Police Major Crime Unit. This will conclude the media report for Monday, June the 12th, 2017. Have a great day and remember. Let's be careful out there.